Hey guys, what's happening? So, having issues again with my dishwasher here. Um, I think the last repair video I made on this thing was a couple years ago. Um, but I think similar to what it was happening before, I'm going to do some dishes. Um, before, actually, the, the button went bad. I think I've had a bad fuse in this thing, a stuck motor. Um, but yeah, i got to do like a little dishes here and it won't actually turn on. So, I don't know if it's actually this uh, power button. Could have finally gone bad. But normally when I hit that button, it, it starts. Um, so I used my deoxid last time to fix the uh, button. I mean, the button might have just gone bad permanently, the start button. But I don't know if it's... I mean, I'm getting power, obviously. I can hit the cancel. Um, nothing. So, sorry you guys see my dirty dishes, but... Alright, so i got to check... So the good news is I'm getting power. The board's getting power. But it's just not starting, so... Alright, kind of headache. i got to take the whole front door off again. It's like, um... I mean, obviously every dishwasher is different, but... A couple of screws and the panel comes off. That way I can do some troubleshooting and... Um, you know, get my multimeter. I mean, it could be like the door latch. Like, maybe it possibly might not think it's latched or something like that. So if the door is not latched, it's not going to start either, right? So either it's, I think it's either the start button or this sort of latch. It's not getting continuity. All right, so another thing that will sometimes prevent it from starting is, I don't know if you can see that, but there's still water in the bottom. So the pump might be uh, screwed up. And usually what you can do is you can hit cancel. If you hit cancel, it will actually drain it. Yeah, so I know the cancel button's working. All right, so I think I'm, I'm going to have to take this board off. So I think a couple of years ago I made a video about it, and you know, like when I fixed this the first time, you know, I just basically put a little bit of deoxid inside the actual uh, PCB, but I'll show you that. But I think this time, I mean, the, if the button... Well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cover off and hook up my continuity tester to it to see if the button's actually working. Um, because what happens is when I take the screws off, the front panels will come off. Um, and to see if I'm actually getting continuity when this button's pressed. If not, then I'm just going to desolder the one next to it, a button I never use, like the four hour delay, and move it over one. But I actually still have the power on, so it's still hot. So, obviously I'm comfortable around electricity, so... Um, So inside here, like I said, I've done this before, so it's, it's been a couple of years, but this little control board here unscrews, a couple more screws here, this whole thing should pop off. Alright, so here is the uh, main control board here. Um, so this is, I know the lighting sucks in here, but so that is the actual main, that's the on and off switch right there. You can see where the forward and the water came through, and I had actually issues. Um, but I was able to fix it with my deoxid. So I did put some deoxid on yesterday and um, it didn't seem to make any difference. Um, here, this is the main switch. So um, I can't remember if this is main. This might be actually mains, main power. So there's 120. You got to be careful what you touch in here. <laughs> um, all right, so that's the main latch. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to make sure that the latch, the latch is working and make sure this button's working. So I'm probably going to have to pull the board out. All right, guys. For YouTube, I decided to unplug it <laughs> so I don't flag this video. Um, all right, so I got the control board out. And I'll do some continuity tests on that main switch. So maybe I'll bring it out to my test bench with better light. Alright, so I hope you can see this better now with the light. Alright, so that is the switch in, you know, the switch in question here. That's the main power switch. You can see where I've actually put some of that stuff in there. The deoxid, which is incredible for cleaning contacts. So, um, on the back of it, I should be able to uh, test for continuity between those two leads right there. So hopefully you can, hopefully I can get this on camera. Okay. So 
The switch works. Interesting. So, main switch is not the problem. Alright, so that's a good, well, I mean, it would, actually, it would have been easy if it would, that would have been the issue that I just would have unsoldered this switch and moved it over to this switch right here. But, alright, back in troubleshooting. I've actually had, I think, a bad fuse go off in this segment before, but if it was a bad fuse, then I wouldn't have any power anywhere. Um, you know, it wouldn't, I'm getting, you know, I power to the board. So, the next thing I'm going to do is test the latch. But, see that little contact in there? When this thing hits down on the lock, let's turn the multimeter on. Continuity mode. All right, so now it's not the switch. You know, it's funny. It's even sometimes just unplugging the power uh, resets it. So maybe that could fix it. I'll try that. All right, I think I figured it out. It seems to be working now. I might have had a stuck relay. Not sure. Um, so I whacked on the relays. Sometimes the relays will stick. Um, so I whacked on the relays a couple times and let me show you. I'm going to activate this thing. Maybe I can do this with one hand. And hopefully you can see that with the camera. Cancel. So, yeah, I'm, I don't know if you're, where you're I'm activating the the, the the latch switch here, so it makes it think that the door is closed. I won't turn off the door, it won't, the thing won't turn off, the door is open. Alright, so, I'll see how this works, and then, worst case scenario, it's got to desolder this, I'm turning it really in. So, the only thing I really did was, I mean, obviously I went through and I tested the latch, tested the switch. What you do is you just kind of go backwards. <laughs> So the next thing I would have done is check for feedback at the pump. You know, if I, I would have actually test voltages here to see if I was actually, if the system was telling the pump to turn on. So that would be my next thing is checking voltage at the pump. Um, but this actually sends the voltage to the pump. So, um, all right, cool. So that's how I troubleshoot it, I guess. Back in business. Hey, washing dishes by hand. All right, awesome.